Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Where's videos. And today we're looking at finding increasing or decreasing domains. On a previous video, we talked about visual domain and range. Here, we're just talking about the domain. So we're only talking about the X values. But what we want to know is uh, based off of increasing or decreasing. All right, so let's take a look at that. So here, um, you have a function here. Uh, we have a spot where it's increasing, then decreasing, and then increasing. So you see where it's increasing here, then it starts to decrease, and then it increase. So what we want to do is find the interval notation of where it's either increasing or decreasing based on what the question is asking. So here, let's see, it's not necessarily coming into view here. There we go. All right. Let's see. So here it says determine the domain on which the following function is increasing. So we want to look. So you can't see the arrow right here, but it's going down is like an arrow. So it's going from here up. All right. So it's going up from infinity, negative infinity, coming up until it stops about right here and when i say negative infinity i don't mean the y i mean the x coming from this way uh negative 12 11 negative 10 negative 8 coming from this way this way so it's negative infinity and it stops increasing here at negative 3 for the domain so to write out the interval notation we're going to go to negative 8 or sorry negative infinity all the way up to negative three and we just want to go ahead and put it in parentheses here because it stops right there it stops increasing at three negative three so negative infinity up to negative three because that's where it's increasing at all right let's look at another one all right here it says determine the domain on which the following function is decreasing going down so there's no arrows on this one. It stops here at 13, and it starts to go down right about in here, right? So it starts to decrease at 6 and stops decreasing at 13. So we're going to go from 6 to 13, not including the 6 and not including the 13 because it's no longer decreasing there. So it's just going to go down to there. All right, let's look at another example. All right, it says determine the domain for which is the function is decreasing. So this is similar to the one we just did here. Uh, it starts decreasing at 4, right about up in here, 4. It goes all the way down to 11. So we're just going to put it in parentheses, 4 to 11. Alright, this one says determine the domain for which the following function is increasing, increasing. So that means it's going to go up. So it goes up from here up. So it starts to go up. But don't get confused with y. We're only looking at the x, the domain. So from negative 1, see, all the way from negative 1 going up to like affinity. And not infinity going on the y, but affinity. So it's going to keep going out, 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 and out until infinity so it's negative one to infinity okay and that is finding increasing or decreasing domains in a future video i'm gonna do finding positive or negative domains but for now thank you for checking out mr Ware's videos have a nice day